Quick question for you guys. What's in common between this photo and this photo and this photo? If you guessed bird chest, then congratulations, you are a winner. Yes, I've always had a bird chest. This picture right here shows exactly what a bird chest is. Bird chest, the scientific name, pectus carinarium or whatever, however you say it, is something that many of you guys have Many of you guys always ask me how to fix it, and today I'm going to give you the solution. Ah, uh, yes, look at me here, guys, doing push ups, trying to get rid of my bird's chest. If I could go back in time and tell myself something, I would tell myself, You're on the right track. Keep going, keep doing what you're doing, but there are better workouts to help you get rid of your bird's chest. And we're going to get right into them, boys. So as you may have guessed, the chest muscle is the specific muscle that you want to target in order to get rid of your bird's chest. Because the more you can get your chest muscle to stick out in front of your body, the less your pectus will show. So obviously the push-ups were good, but we are going to need more specific exercises for the chest. Some isolation exercises for the chest, and these three happen to be my favorite. There are more, but we're going to work with these three for today's video. Starting off with the bench press. So, the bench press guys. Obviously, getting into the gym, trying to get rid of the uh, bird's chest, you're not going to have a strong bench. You're not going to have a strong bench at all. Look at me here. I'm doing 95 pounds. 95 pounds, that's nothing. But eventually, with time, you will get stronger at the bench press. You will notice that your chest is getting bigger if you increase your bench press. You will 100% notice that your chest looks more proportional. The bench press is the base foundation for your chest. You don't have to do it with a bar, you could do it with the dumbbells, but with an increase in strength on your bench press, you will notice a difference. We are not done yet though. I want to add in, throw in an incline press to your workout. This won't affect the bird chest as much because the ribs kind of stop towards the lower part of the chest, but throw it in because it will make your chest look more proportional. You don't want a good looking middle and lower chest and then a very weak looking upper chest. And last but certainly not least, the chest flies. Chest flies can be done on not just this machine, they could be done on cables, they could be done on the machine that the guy behind me to the left is doing, he's doing chest flies as well. You could do them on all sorts of machines, you can mess with the angles, play with the angles. I want you to focus on feeling it in your lower chest whenever you're doing it, the flies. Mess with the angles, see what, see what really feels like it's contracting the lower chest. Chest flies were a game changer for me. They even helped me increase my bench, which in factor makes my chest look even fuller. Chest flies, add them in. Now the last thing I want to add is you should be trying to gain weight, eat more, because as I said, the whole the whole goal of this is to get your chest to stick out, right? So if you can add muscle with the workouts, that'll help your chest stick out. And then you add a little bit of fat, an extra layer of fat, that'll get your chest to stick out even more. And your bird chest will be virtually gone. Hope this video helped you guys out. Hope you guys can take a tip or two from this video to sum it all up. Pick one compound movement like the bench press then two isolation movements you want to target your lower chest the mid portion of the chest the upper chest you want to eat more gain weight if you do all this you will be 100 100 set good to go consistency is key hope you guys enjoyed it's been your boy filter thousand stay tuned for more videos see you next time